Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU malls scrapping its one and two cent coins European Union put Eurozone safety before Greece during the bailout, IMF report claims Tory party out of control over Europe, says Lord Howe Enter the FUD, fear, uncertainty and doubt Plus, Olly Wren should resign for crimes against Greece and against economics. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, the one and two cent euro coins are facing criticism. Their production and distribution is considered much too expensive, which is why the EU Commission is considering scrapping the coppers. As the euro crisis goes on, the voices calling for the currency's abolition are getting louder. One of them belongs to the new party Alternative for Germany, who can't wait to get rid of the euro altogether. Now, it strikes me that the Euro Bureau kleptocrats are getting themselves in a fix with this currency project. When all said and done, the Euro is just a fiat currency. There is nothing of actual tangible value supporting it. True, of course, for most Western currencies. The Dark Lords of Mordor feel that they need this currency to bind together the Union, but it no longer looks like the people of Europe feel the same way. The bailout of Greece was bungled because it was an attempt to save the single currency rather than the debt-stricken country, according to the highly critical IMF report. The internal report on the handling of the Greek crisis has detailed a catalogue of errors which led to the IMF breaking three out of four of its own rules relating to lending money to bankrupt countries. It also admits that the impact of austerity policies in Greece was badly underestimated as EU institutions and leaders tried to save their political skins at the expense of the Greek economy. Paradoxically, most of the European population outside of the political establishment have been saying this for at least the last three years. Lord Howe, the former Conservative Chancellor who triggered the downfall of Margaret Thatcher, has launched a scathing attack on the Prime Minister, accusing him of running scared of his backbenchers and endangering Britain's future in Europe. The Tory grandee says David Cameron has opened a Pandora's box by opposing the current terms of the UK's membership of the European Union and now appears to be losing control of his party. The Prime Minister's actions, how writes in The Observer, have turned into internal Tory problem into a national one. Well, as I said in last week's nightly news, and I will repeat it again just for clarity of purpose, David Cameron couldn't organise a cream tea party in a jam factory. And as for Lord Howe, well sir, I would be delighted to have a battle of wits, but I can see you're unarmed. For those of us foolish enough to be concerned about the well-being of our nation, the country is about to enter a lengthy period of FUD, or to give it its full title, Fear, Uncertainty and Doubt. Let me explain, writes Trevor Coleman. The political class in Britain is now confronted with a unique problem, an electorate which no longer believes anything they are told. The old yarns won't work anymore. For example, in an attempt to divert attention, the government declares that the public is worried more about the economy and unemployment than membership of the EU. But the public refuses to be diverted. It knows the government is trying to shoehorn them into a federal Europe, and rightly, they smell a rat. Government ministers say they are tackling immigration, but our borders remain open and no one will predict what will happen on New Year's Day 2014. The public shakes its head in disbelief. Austerity is good for us, our masters tell us, as they close hospital wards, reduce police numbers and cut back on services while giving away well over £50 million every day to the EU budget, plus countless sums in bailouts. The public turns away in disgust. Nobody has taken responsibility for the disastrous errors made by the EU IMF Troika in Greece, where youth unemployment has just reached 58.3%. Nobody has resigned or missed a day's pay or faced any kind of censure from an elected body, despite the withering indictment just issued by the IMF. 
Worse yet, the basic conceptual policy errors that led to this tragic episode have not been fully corrected. It is getting quite frightening to look at the future for Greece, Spain, Italy, etc. The political barnacles of the EU gravy train have failed, bedazzled by the massive fraudulent saddling of bank debt, which in truth has drained the life and soul from the European project like a vampire. I fear deeply for the future of these people, their economy and societies on the brink of implosion. Let us hope that from somewhere or someone amongst them will begin playing like the Pied Piper and lead these people from their sorrow. Today in our video library, this is a great little clip from the European Parliament showing the voting process in session. Viewers should find this a little more than eyebrow raising, but it demonstrates well how and why so many laws and regulations get voted into effect. In this short clip, Gerard Batten expresses deep misgivings about the validity of the EU voting process. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below. <laughs>